Yoshida Horayuki, 26 years old, a salaryman working for Mikami Entertainment. At work, they often say relationships matter more than the job, and I think that's true. Hey, Yoshida, can I talk to you for a sec? Sure. I struggle with my media boss, making this workplace tough to deal with. Could you make the font a bit bigger on this meeting document and add some space here to make it easier to read? Yeah, got it. She's dedicated to her work, but she's pretty picky with instructions. Using the meeting documents internally, I don't think we need to fuss over them so much. And also, how many days have you been wearing that suit? Huh? I don't remember. Even if you don't have to wash it every day, there's still a limit, you know? In summer, you should dry clean it once every one to two weeks. And in fall and winter, you should do it once or twice a season. I've been disinfecting it, so I thought it'd be okay. It's just basic hygiene as a working adult, you know. Do it properly. Not just at work, but even at company gatherings. She's always on edge. Doesn't she ever get tired? She's probably going to be uptight on our next company trip, too. Today, thank you very much for choosing Nanakuma Tour Bus. Hey, Yoshida, want a drink? Sure, why not? All right, let the party begin. I'm glad they're serving alcohol. I love it. Nakazawa, want a drink? Uh, I'm good, thanks. Just as I thought. Hey, bus guy, let's do karaoke! Time to show off my singing skills. Yeah, go for it, Chief. We are right at the inn. Everyone, please enjoy your time. I really need to go to the bathroom. Now, let me explain how we'll be assigning rooms. Sorry, I need to hit the restroom real quick. I'm back! Uh, where's my room? It's called Soki no Ma. There's only one key, so I've already given it to Tanaka, huh? Who's oh, sharing the room with you? Thanks a lot. Sharing a room with Tanaka? Since we're in the same group, it should be chill. Oh, the door is open. Uh, I wonder if they knew I was coming later and left it open for me. Huh? Yeah! Uh, sorry! Excuse me! Whoa, that startled me. I didn't expect her to be changing. Why is she in my room? Sorry, your room is Tsubaki no ma. Give me a break. Now I accidentally saw Nakasan change. I'm gonna have to apologize. This time, this room is definitely the right one, right? Took you long enough. I thought you were coming, so I left the door open. As I expected. I'm glad you showed up. Huh? Man, that was quite a mess. She ended up in the wrong room, and on top of that, saw her changing. Well, that was a bad look. Yeah, it really was. 
Yeah, but she's tough yet gorgeous, and with a great figure. <laughs> so seeing her change was quite a lucky. I was too shocked to really check her out. I bolted out of the room right away. I've got to apologize to her. She's gonna give you a lecture, I bet. Yeah, man. Ugh. I'm looking forward to it. As soon as the party kicks off, go apologize right away. And after I get at the party, I'll come help you out pronto. Got it, thanks. Next time you will treat me to lunch. <laughs> okay, it's party time. Oh, there's Miss Sawa. Miss Sawanaka, I'm really sorry about earlier. Turns out Harada gave me the wrong room number. I thought Tanaka, who was in the same room, had left it open, so I just walked in without knocking. So it was an accident then? Yeah, it was. I didn't mean to at all. I'm really sorry. Accident or not, you did see me changing, right? Yeah. Am I gonna get a lecture during the party? So it's party time! Wanna grab a drink? Sure thing. Yoshida, you haven't won too, right? Yeah, cheers. You really saved my neck. Yoshida, swing by my room later. Huh? Ah, hey, Yoshida, there you are. We're gonna get ready for our performance now, so let's gather up. Got it. He's always late. Got it, all you. I wonder if we'll end up getting lectured in our room after all. Snuck out of the party, but... Man, I'm nervous. I wonder what she's gonna say. Yoshida, come in. Excuse me. Huh? What about your roommate? They suddenly couldn't make it, so I got a room to myself. I see. Glad nobody heard the lecture. But if we get lectured, it's a bummer nobody can stop it. Yoshida. Yeah? On closer look, her yukata is slipping, revealing a bit of cleavage. You saw my skin, even if it wasn't on purpose, right? Yeah. Can you take responsibility? Uh, that's uh... Her vibe is intense. How do you want me to take responsibility? I want you to see me tonight, not as your boss, but as a woman. Huh? I, um, never had any romantic experiences before. So having a guy see my skin like that for the first time, it made my heart race like crazy. Oh, really? Is she, like, hitting on me? So, can you, like, take responsibility and give me a kiss? A uh, kiss? It's kinda weird, right? Like at my age, I've never even kissed a guy before. It's not weird. That caught me off guard. Just for tonight, could you think of me as just a woman and kiss me? I don't want to end up without any experience my whole life. Uh, well... Uh... Sorry, it's kind of weird to ask for something like this, right? Nah, it's cool. So, is it okay then? Yeah. I'm weird. She's always been my boss. Never thought about her like that. I'm super nervous right now. 
Thanks, you can go home now. Okay. But I don't really want to leave. Well then, uh, see you later. I can't really say that though. Shada, how was it? Hey, are you listening? My face is hot. My heart is still pounding. It's been a month since we came back from the trip. I'm still feeling unsettled. Yoshida. Yeah? Your tie's all crooked. A crooked tie means a crooked heart, you know. Gotta straighten up as a professional. I can fix it myself, thanks. Excuse me. What am I doing? She doesn't have any experience with guys and just happened to ask me for a first kiss as a way of taking responsibility for me accidentally seeing her change. Hmm. She just wanted to experience it with anyone. The more I think about it, the more down I feel. It's not even a big deal for me, but... Let's focus on work and switch gears. It's already lunchtime. Yoshida, can I have a word with you? Sure. I was taken to a meeting room. You seem to be more focused lately, but your motivation for work seems to be declining. What's going on? Well, uh... That kiss must have been a small thing for her. If you've got something on your mind, I'm here to listen and help. Take responsibility, please. Huh? Taking responsibility for kissing me. I'm sorry. I'm assumed you'd be okay with it since you probably kissed girls many times before. But you didn't like it, right? It wasn't my first kiss, and it's weird to expect me to take responsibility just for kissing you. I understand that. But it seems like I've started to like you. Huh? Since then, whether I'm at work or at home, I can't stop thinking about you. I keep replaying the kiss in my head and getting all fluttery. You could have kissed anyone, right? It's not like I kissed just anyone. Huh? I asked you because it's you. But... It's because I like you. Huh? I never felt that from you before. There's no way I could have shown that kind of attitude. I'm older than you and your boss, so I don't want things to get awkward. But that day, with a bit of liquid courage, I took advantage of her guilt and made a bold move for a one-night memory. The one night brought a big change in my heart. Are you sure about me? Will you take responsibility for liking me? Of course I will. <laughs> Cute. Stop it, don't tease me. But you really are cute. Wanna grab lunch together? I'd love to. And that's how we ended up dating. Hey, Yoshida. <sighs> yes. The font size in the documents we're sending to the clients is too big, and it's making the pages too long. Shouldn't we condense it? That's cool. Akagawa's got bad eyesight and struggles with small fonts. He's a type who likes to go through the documents himself. Okay. Ushida, you've been more vocal with Miss Sawanaka lately, huh? Well, because I wasn't wrong about anything lately. But you used to get all nervous and jittery in those situations before. Maybe because I've seen a different side of her. Different side? Like what? We're still at work. Cut the chatter. Got it. Looks tasty. Almost done. Just hang tight. I want to taste it. <laughs> okay. Man, it's really good. Phew, glad to hear that. Because I found out she's actually really kind and cute. 
Even when she's tough, you can feel the love hidden underneath. I always thought I'd live single just doing my own thing. Never imagined you'd end up liking me. Gosh, she always says the cutest things. I like you, you know? Don't go thinking you gotta live alone anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Thought she was gonna lecture me after accidentally seeing our tough boss changing, but she ended up kissing me. May the love that sprouted from fate's mischief continue to lead us happily ever after. <laughs>